Hello, I've been out again. Thank you for the people who supported me today. Um, I'm making these videos because, ooh, it's 6.50 p.m. All right. Oh, that turned over nicely. Oh, of course, because he smashed my thing in. I'm going to squeak when I bake brick back up, but my brakes are good. <laughs> These tobacco ones. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so what happened today? Uh, I am in Hillside. And I hung up a flyer or two at um, ShopRite. It's a, a lady in there that was very helpful to me. Now, I just realized something. I, I, was, I was in Newark earlier today. And, oh shit, this thing is right in my way. Oh God. My table is right in the way. All right. I'm driving since I was 17. I can do it. Um, trucks, no trucks. I don't want to drive down the highway like that. All right, that's how <laughs> those of you who saw my other videos before I uh, bought my glass table to work on, I, I had this long table, fo foldable table, like a picnic table. Uh, oh shit. I was working on so much that all this time. I could have got myself something to drink. And, and I don't know why I mess with the mirrors because <laughs> back in my day when they taught you to drive, you had to look behind you and you had to look for your for your blind spots. So, and you always check your mirrors. So, I, I just do it out of habit. Um, but that table was right, right in the way. Alright, so here's the thing. Today, today I was out and uh, driving down Newark, Broad Street, Newark, and this officer went like this to me, and I went like this back, and he's looking at me and he's smiling, so I'm like, oh, he's extra friendly for what? I think because I have a flag on my car and a flag on the door that maybe he thought I was mad up. Let me tell you something. The flag does not belong to Donald Trump or Republicans. Uh, they use it as their symbol, but it is not theirs. I've been rocking with the United States flag since I've been born and they taught me in high school that it's part of our democracy, where you show what country you from. You, you proud of the flag. So people are looking, listen, I need help getting my petition signed. I don't care if independents, Republicans, Democrats, I don't care who signs my petition. As long as you register to vote, and you sign it so that I could uh, run for president, 
because all these people thinking that Biden is doing so much for them, you in the same position you were financially, emotionally, mentally, and as far as your safety, you are literally in the exact same position or worse than when Trump was in office. And the same thing for the people who are out there clamoring for Trump. Your life has not been improved. Your safety has not been improved. None of it. It just hasn't. I'm talking so loud because this damn old window is open. Uh, open. That's a lot better. <sighs> You know, none of these things have really improved for us because, um, oh, that's a whole lot better. Put some air on. Just a little. I don't like to use my air, burns my gas. All right. never had an accident and they raised my insurance from $98 to $264 now I got uh, full coverage because I plan on renting cars it's for my long distance trips I'm not taking this one but without the full coverage it went from $98 all the way up to $185 so you charge me damn near hundred dollars an increase. And they say, oh, the state said that, you know, that was required. Whereas I think I had like twenty-five thousand per incident on my uh, vehicle. Now you have to have fifty thousand per incident, you know, for property damage. So, and then they, and they know this, or some companies, they know who they're going to refer you to. Anyway, that's not what I came to make this video for. I'm documenting, I'm on my way home. Um, it's hot as hell. I got a late start anyway. Um. But I put a couple of flyers up and I put, um, oh yeah, you're going a little too fast for me. I need you to go past me or slow down or something. Hey, you ain't even going nowhere. What the hell you flying for in your Mercedes Benz at 658? You in a rush to get to your house? Don't be shy. I'm doing good on my gas. I only got a quarter, I only used up a quarter of a tank. And I keep I forgot to get a receipt. Like a nut. Wait a minute, where's the, the damn thing is that? Oh now see this is a good place to, to come and get some signatures too. And um I'm trying to find a drive through because yes, I am lazy and my foot is actually hurting and I don't want to get up again. <sighs> I don't want to get out. I should buy me a bowl. <laughs> no gold there. Go home. You're down to 210 pounds. You get this damn soda and you take your ass home. taste I've been doing good I really have been doing good and I think I deserve a little snack I mean I didn't buy myself anything orange green sickle frosty every time I I go to say I should buy myself this I should buy myself that I talk myself out of it five dollar five dollar treat deal well that's a lie I'm not gonna do that 
we're going to behave. How can I do? Okay. May I have um, whatever burger you have that I can get with that pineapple drink? Do you want a biggie bag? Um, yeah, well, I don't know what that is, but I guess, uh, how much is it? Five dollars. Yes, I'll take that. And I can get which that. Which one do you want? Pineapple, mango. What do you mean, which one? Do you want the Jimmy Baker cheeseburger, a double stack? Oh, hell. Um, uh, the first one you said. Jimmy Bacon? Yes, but. That comes with mayo, tomato, lettuce, cheese, and bacon. Oh, can you please take the cheese off? You want no cheese, okay? You want everything else? Uh, yes, and that drink, the pineapple mango, please. What size? Whatever comes with the five dollar one. Okay. What sauce for the nuggets? Uh, no sauce. Wait. Anything I, else? Um. No. I thought I was getting a burger. That is the burger. It's a Jimmy Bacon. Oh, because you said nuggets. Yeah, it comes with a whole meal. Like it's. Oh it's hell. It comes with the, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with fries, nuggets, a drink, and a burger. Oh my God. All right. I'll take. Oh, uh, now I see it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow. Yeah. Good God. That thing go five, six, and seven dollars. That's a lot of food. They go my two hundred and damn ten pounds. <laughs> Every time I get with the ten or three pounds from getting back in the ones. All right, but anyway, yes, that's it for the month. I never deprive myself. <laughs> Is that that Dr. Pale for? That's that Dr. Pale for. <laughs> Damn Tony Baker. I waste my Dr. Pepper all up my butt. Was mad as hell. I really just came in here for a drink. But the greed is real. Plus, I don't feel like going home cooking. Hi, how are you? Um, are you making no cheese? No. Are you back? Yes. Hi, how are you? May I have a receipt, please? I got you. Okay. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Thank you. about it already, right? Because I was looking at him. See what this thing got in it. I had a five dollar, a, a six dollar, a six twenty five, a seven dollar, something like that. <laughs> this thing keeps all your drinks cold. Was five dollars from the dollar uh, Dollar Tree. Now y'all go out there and buy them 30 and 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 120 dollar cups like this. But I'm telling you, I left ice my other cup because I bought two. I filled it up with ice, put the drink in it, and drank it. Two days later, it's still sitting on my, what you call it, with ice in the cup when I checked this morning. Mm. Woo! Baby, that thing is mango and tart and good. Mm. 
of this little thing, this little organizer that I bought. It gets in everybody's way because the seat's not really that wide. Nobody normally in my car with me. No why, no how. Seriously? So they didn't gain me fries. Okay, you probably can't see that. This with the skin on it. The skin on fry. And the nuggets. And you know what? They're all small. So this is probably, yeah, just a little small fish. So this is probably, um, these calories on this is probably, um, maybe 450 450 or maybe 850 or something like that Knocked my whole carriage loose when he when he rammed my car. Little teeny tiny burger. Now I see why they give you the extra, the extra stuff. All right. I've gotten something to eat. I'm pretty much going to cut this video down. but <laughs> You don't need to see all of that. So what I was saying is that So what I was saying is that the flag on my car, it does not mean that I'm a Republican. It does not mean that I'm a Democrat. I'm an American, and that flag is mine. That says I'm proud to be an American. Now, you Republicans out there, Maybe that's good. It's lemonade, mango, and it's sweet and it's tart. Oh. Um, you guys, you Republicans, and even if people want to call you MAGA Republicans, conservative Republicans, moderate Republicans, whatever type of Republican you are, I'm running for president of the United States. I need your signature too.
think it was a possum that didn't make it. Lag hitting my car. The picture that I used on my flyer, I think that picture is from when I was 25. So if you look at the picture and you're like, oh, gee, like you're, you're kind of young. That makes sense because I think I was 25 when I ran for mayor. 25 or 28 or something like that. That kind of makes sense. But you, you people are looking at my face. And telling me that I'm in my late 20s, early 30s, and that I don't, you know, I can't be the president because I'm too young age-wise. Like, come on. Um, that's not a compliment when you're 56. That that really is not. Um, I've lived... I've lived, I've traveled, worked, been retired. Some lady today, I'm not going to say her name. She's going to tell me I'm lying about Jasmine Crockett and Margaret Taylor Graham. And then come to find out she's an immigrant. I'm sorry, she's a migrant. She's a migrant. So I said, listen, migrants need help too. Uh, I'm running for president to also help them because our country keeps saying they're going to help them. And you can't get help by replacing us, by knocking us out of the, the workforce. You know, you can't. <laughs> that That's not how you get help. Like there's so much competition and people get lost and fall by the wayside. And Americans are the ones that's losing their homes, losing their jobs, losing their cars. It's hot. More than that, it's dangerous for so many people to be on one continent. Because when you have limited resources, people don't give a damn. They want to survive. They want to take care of their family. And that's how you get into the war. In Chicago now, you can't go there unless somebody escorts you in certain parts of Chicago. You know, they got a white part of Chicago. They got a black part of Chicago. And it's like they set up these, they, they, they literally segregated themselves. Like there's no law that says that you can do it, but people have done it. But here come these migrants. They don't give a fuck what color you are, what race you are, what, what if your status is that you were born here. If you migrated here, they coming to get your spots. And if you think they are not coming to get your spot, and this is fear mongering, which I would not do, uh, yeah, they they coming to get in these apartments. It's just a fact of what it is. So you have to sit there and say, ah, it's not happening to me. So I'm not worried about it, but I did hear it was happening. Yeah, the reason why you're hearing about it is CEOs that get paid them big pay paychecks, they're going to have a migrant come in here that's gone to college, like the lady I did the thing on the other day, and she had the audacity to say, our laws are this and our laws are that. Lady, you got here, you got your papers, you became an attorney, you became you are a civil rights, uh, you know, they know how just what to say and just what to do. Y'all, do, do the people in America believe 
that America cannot be taken over again. They took it from the Native Americans. Do you think that these people won't won't take it from Americans and immigrants? Because see, immigrants, they say, oh, we came to this country too. No, baby, your parents and your grandparents came to this country. You were born here. They don't look at you as their brother, as their migrant, immigrant brothers and sisters. They want your goddamn spot. Just like they want the American that was born here. They don't care that your parents came here 20, 40, 30 years ago. But, that, but people are so busy in their lives. You're not watching what's going on in Africa. The, 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 uh, Africa, you hear about Russia. Okay, okay fine. Uh, Africa, Russia, Mexico. The guy that was running for president, somebody walked right up to him, put a gun to his head, pulled the trigger. They blacked that part out, killed him. Right there in front of everybody. Now they got, they're going to, two women, one of those two women are going to win in uh, first president. That's a woman in the history of the country. The reason I'm running is because I am not a politician. I am not a career-long politician. Have I come up with it? Yes. When you run for something and you register for it, you learn how it works. That's what you do. You learn how it works. So the flag is so that people will recognize something's going on. I can't put a balloon out there and drive because it'll, it'll it, one of my flags already was torn off. I don't know who tore it off, but I know somebody ripped the flag off of one of the flags off the car. Or I was driving and it flew off. But I put tape around it because the way they had the flag on the pole like that, it was it would be easy to, to fly off. So that's why I put the tape around it. I went crazy over this car when I first saw it. I can't show it to y'all. But it's that little box car. I wanted that gray one. It was so cute and square like a box. I wanted it so bad. And I went to get finance for it. I, I got approved too. And I changed my mind. Met Michael, fell in love, got pregnant, and went to prison. Crimes I didn't commit. That's how you do it. <laughs> it's not how to do it. But that's how it happened. Oh my goodness. 
a half hour later. And I'm up the street from the homestead. But I, I need everybody's signature. Because if you're unhappy with Trump, you should be willing to at least let me get on the ballot. A lady told me, um, oh, that's what I was saying before I pulled into the, the restaurant to get something to eat. She said I was a liar because the um, what I said about Jasmine allowing the um, Jasmine Crockett, Representative Jasmine Crockett from Texas and the other Republican and Democrats. Um, some, some Republicans said no, some Democrats said no. But the majority of the Democrats and Republicans in Congress, that's your Senate and your House of Representatives, the majority of them voted so that the law could be overturned in um, the District of Columbia, which needs to be made a state. But... I would have to get in there and get enough people and um, do what I do to get, get, get the things that I get. Come on, little squirrel. Get, get, come on. Somebody's going to run you over, but it ain't going to be me. But my house is a shambles. When I pull up, it's like I'm like a neat freak Virgo. That thing is horrible. I mean, it's not dirty, dirty, it, but it's dust everywhere. Um, there's fingerprints on my glass again. My sheets need to be changed. My floors need to be mopped. <laughs> yes, this is why I had an aid. I know. That I got rid of. All right, so. I, I hung this up in a couple of places. But I also put up. Um, I also um, show this because this is literally um, it, and it shows you right here where I have uh, registered uh, my statement of organization that's what this is and um my FEC number, oh, okay. My FEC number for my principal committee. Now, it does list Democrat. So, I, I'm not a Republican. I've never been a Republican. I'm not going to tell people that I am a Republican. But I have voted for Republicans. And I do tell people that. Because when you have all Democrats or all Republicans, nothing gets done the way it's supposed to get done. What Congress is doing now is because they're trying to... Uh, they trying to make it so that you guys, uh, we, us, so that we're not paying attention. Here we go. A little mango stuff. As long as we are not paying attention to what Congress is doing. So she calls me a liar. I'm not a liar. I'm really running for president. This is the, the next thing that I'm... It's on the website now, um, which I put out there. But it clearly... It just says the, the U.S. Immigration Agency process um, processes approximately 55,000 individual applications per year into our country. If they meet the requirements of our laws. Seven million are backlogged. 100 million migrants have already come here. So I'm getting my numbers from somewhere, people. I, I'm not making this up. Like, I don't work in the government. Um, You can Google stuff, but a lot of the stuff on Google hasn't been uh, verified and checked out. It'll tell you if it has. But if I'm running for president, why wouldn't I get my information from the government? 
or from a representative who works for the government. That's where my numbers are coming from. They're not, you know, thrown out of the air, like someone said to me. <laughs> then they called me back. <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not. So, number two is where are all of these people going to live and work in America? If we are three hundred and forty thousand, and we're not, we're more than that. We are three hundred and forty million on the census. We're, we're we're close to 600, um, 600, 650, if you count the people who are disabled and can't work. Um, it's just that the majority of us don't vote. So they count at 350 million. You spread that across the states and there's your numbers. So let's just take 340 million people. You know, if you live in the city, it's congested. So add a hundred million more people to that and then let all of them, the majority of them have babies. Where are we going? And that's the thing that y'all don't understand. They Their thing is, oh, we should be able to come here. No, you should not be able to come here. There's no law that says you should be able to come here. We extended your coming here, getting asylum and, and filing for uh, immigration. As a courtesy, we don't, you don't come here and make demands on a country that you're coming to. And then you have to adapt to our laws, our way, our language. Keep your own culture, obviously. But you don't bring the bullshit that's going on in your country here. That's why the fuck you ran here. Still believe still believe you're not being replaced by migrants, DACA, and Dreamers? Because, see, that's three different groups. <laughs> and the other two are already here, and they've already been here, and they're already having babies. They can all vote as of May 23rd, 2024. H.R. 192 was approved and passed by the United States Congress. Congress is both parties of the House and the uh, Senate, House of Representatives and the Senate. Together, they're called the Congress. A bill starts in the House. It gets worked up. They get the numbers to pay for it. They send it up to the Senate. The Senate looks at it, makes its changes, allocates, allocates the money to it, excuse me, allocates funding for it if needed. They take a vote on it, they pass it, they send it back down, and they say, this is the version that we will um, pass. And then the House of Representatives looks at it, and they say, okay, we like this part, we like that part, they took this out, but that's not a big deal, we'll get it on the next bill, and uh, this is what this is what we can pass, and then they pass it. You're not supposed to go to any state and tell them what laws they can enforce and can't enforce. But the District of Columbia is a, um, it's a district, <clears throat> not a state. So they made a law that said, no, we don't want you to establish residency and then be able to vote. 30 days of getting in this country, them motherfuckers can vote. I know you don't believe me. I know you don't. I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm really not. And this is the famous picture. I took this picture on the 29th of May. And, and that's the, the famous picture. And I kept saying, what the hell is going on? Why, why is, what is, what is, what is what? I, I got people doing shit like this. And then, you know, when I go to the channel, this Inez Jones. When I go to the channel, there's no one there. I kid you not. The channel doesn't have any content. So when I tell you that they're taking my ideas, they're watching me and they're listening for what I'm going to say, I'm going to do. And uh, this has happened three times already. 
I, I said on my channel what I wanted to do for the American public. And next thing you know, now they want to do it. This lady right here, 